What is up you guys? It is Jess and I am back and today I could be introducing you to a new favorite band. I've been wanting to use this band for a while now for this series but I didn't know what was going to be happening in the future because they've been pretty quiet and thankfully instead of calling it quits they have put out brand new music. This is The Beautiful Monument. So The Beautiful Monument have dropped a brand new single called Deceiver as of February 22nd. It is available worldwide. I highly suggest you check it out. They have also announced that they are finally signed to Grayscale Records. I have been wanting this band to get signed by so many different record labels and they've finally found their home. And it's incredible for them because even as a unsigned band, they have been able to accomplish so much. They've done shows with I Prevail and Hearts Wake Architects. They were also hand chosen by Tonight Alive for the Back to Beginnings tour in Australia. That was an incredible tour for them, an amazing opportunity. They've also played huge festivals like Big Sound 2018 as well as Unify 2018 in the middle of nowhere Australia with thousands of people. They have also been announced for Download Festival 2019, another amazing opportunity for them because Download Festival is just one of those festivals where to even get to go and be there as a fan is one thing, but to actually get to play is another huge, huge thing. So I am so super proud of this band. I think I got into them in 2017 when I first heard their songs, Manifestation and Disorder, and I reached out to them on Twitter saying I enjoy their music, I love their sound, and they actually reached back to me and said that they, of course, loved what I had to say about them and that they wanted me to cover them one day, and I was actually able to hold up my end of the bargain. I've covered them on two different occasions, once with Manifestation and the second time with Ashes. Those are two of the hardest covers I have ever put together simply because I suck at learning by ear and there was no tabs, so I was kind of on my own and I improvised some of the parts and they're honestly two of my favorite songs to play on guitar and they really kind of helped me hone in on playing some of more solo and harder hitting parts and the band's just been really supportive of those covers and anything I had to say about them. So the band's been able to pick up the pieces uh, after some lineup changes um, for multiple different reasons. They are, were able to pull members from Falsifier and Liberties. You've got Alex from Falsifier and Amy from Liberties. Alex on guitar, Amy on bass. They're joining Andy on guitar and Lizzie on vocals. There is not a permanent uh, drummer at this point but that doesn't mean that they won't have one in the future and honestly I didn't know how a new lineup change would be but honestly I completely love the sound that they have I know Falsifier and Liberties are kind of more hard-hitting bands in Australia so I kind of had an idea of what those girls were going to be bringing into this band and I completely enjoy the new single Deceiver, I think it just brings back nostalgia from I'm the Sin, but in a different way. I don't really know how to describe it. So from what they were saying was Deceiver was kind of a follow-up to the song Ashes. Both songs are about drug abuse and lead singer Lizzie's family. And, you know, I just love bands who can write from personal standpoints and just put it into music, whether it's more uh, more subtle or softer sounding or hard hitting you know rock and any band that can put them themselves out like that and be vulnerable I just think is incredible so the beautiful monument is a great example of that favorites from that year as well as them um, obviously their sound has changed since the instrumentals either way they are still I think them signing to Grayscale Records can give them the platform to become a large-scale band they have the potential to just explode and be able to reach any part of the world and just tour and release music and they have the opportunity to be a big name band and I think that is very very good for them so the new single Deceiver is incredible. I actually sat down and started to learn it 
I might or might not have already learned it. I might or might not have already recorded a cover. Yes, I recorded the cover. It will probably be up after this video, so if that's something you want to see, stick around and just hold tight because that video will be up after this one. I spent probably about six hours trying to learn that song, uh, just learning the chord progressions and some of the more solo stuff I had to improvise on. But either way, it is still an amazing song to play. I love playing it. It is super fun. And I just love the angst that it brings. And it's one of my favorites to play. So if you want to see that, just stick around. I highly suggest you check out The Beautiful Monument. I will put the link for Spotify and the music video below as well as the cover that I'm getting ready to post after this video. So I highly suggest you stick around and I highly suggest you check out the band because they are incredible. I've been a fan of them for a while and I can't wait to see what else is going to be released. They haven't said anything about an album but I have a feeling one might be on the horizon so I'm looking forward to that. Even if it's just a couple singles after that and not an album, I will still be satisfied because I've been craving New Beautiful Monument for a while now and I finally got it and I can't wait to have more because I'm greedy like that. <laughs> so yeah, check out The Beautiful Monument, check out any other stuff. Their album I'm the Sin is available on Spotify. I don't believe their EP The Lost is anymore, but I'm sure you could probably find it on YouTube somewhere. And yeah, just dive deep into their music because I guarantee you, you can find one of their songs that you enjoy and I hope to see more. And So yeah, if there's nothing else, I'm Jess. See you later.